Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, in this video tutorial, we will learn that how we can pass functions as an props in React.js. So uh, in this video, we will learn that how we can pass a functions as an props as well as we will learn that why this is important because this topic is also related to your application performance also. Sometime we can just make this function in a same component also we don't need to pass through as in props but that time our performance of our application is very slow so i will tell you the whole concept why this is required to pass of functions as in props so now let's start with the code so this is my app.js component and uh, this is my output screen right so i am just going to make a component let's say my component name is a uh, user dot js and uh, let's make a function and function name can be let's say user there is a no parameter for a moment and just make a return statement in a return we can put here a div and let's say define a h1 tag inside a div like a user component or something right and now let's just export default user right and now in the app.js just simply write here import user from our file path right and this is our file path and let's use this uh, component here like this all right that's great now let's see the output we can just uh, get our uh, user component here so now what i'm just going to do i'm just going to define a function here all right so just remove this function and uh, make it from a scratch so let's say my function name is uh, get data or something there is a no parameter for a moment and uh, uh, let's make an alert inside it like uh, hello from app component because uh, i just want to tell that this function is present inside a app component right now let's uh, just define here a data props and pass this uh, function as in data like uh, get data like this right so this is super easy now let's go to the props uh, go to the users and uh, make a parameter like a props define a fun button here like this and just write here call function and uh, let's use here on click event on this on click event we can just simply use here props dot data because we are passing this function as in data here right so now we can just click on it and now you can see that this is working fine right so the, that way we can pass a, a function as in props so why this is important and how this functions uh, you can say that the uh, functions as in props can improve our site performance so i just want to give an example so let's say uh, i just want to use this user function again and again and again and again because uh, might be this uh, component can be just uh, wrapped inside a loop kind of things right so that time now I just defined here uh, only one function here. If I'm just defining this function inside my user.js file, then what actually happened, this function will be defined many times as much as I define a user component, right? So let's say I'm just calling this uh, user component 10 times, then this function will be defined here 10 times, uh, like here, right? but this is not a good approach so what we can do here we can just uh, define this function only once in our parent component and call it in from a child component as many time as we want right so that's why uh, this is helpful for uh, improve our performance right and one more thing sometime what actually happened so let's uh, just remove these extra calls from here so sometime uh, more than one component let's say i have a user component and another i have a students and members component the all components need a same function right 
that time we can just define this function in apparent and call in the all components i can show you that how we can do it so let's say i'm just going to make uh, one more component let's say student dot js right and uh, let's make a copy of this one and just write here right just define here student from here and uh, let's make a student component here and now let's import this like this import student from student and uh, we can just simply call this uh, student uh, component like this right so now we have the two different different component but we have a same function in a parent component and we can call is like this this is working fine here this is not working fine here because we did not pass here this data as in props so let's pass this now the both are working fine right so that's all for this video now i have a question for you how we can pass the data from uh, here to here that means uh, we just called this function from a child component but uh, let's say we just want to pass some parameter with this function from child component that how we can do it so you can comment this answer in a comment box if you just want to do otherwise please read about it at least read about it because this is an important interview question and uh, thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and please like this video subscribe my channel bye bye god bless you